Hello everyone, welcome back to Land Rover Wiring. Today we're going to be working on the grill and we're going to be hooking up the lights. We're going to be hooking up the headlight relay kit that I'm going to go over first is the headlight relay kit and then we'll just have the video cruise along to everything else. But I'd like to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed, liked, and commented. You guys are great and always enjoy your comments and enjoy the video. And thank you very much, and I'll see you later. All right, so here's the headlight relay kit that you can buy off of eBay. And they're actually for H4 upgrade headlights or people that get real fancy headlights in cars and stuff like that instead of using your stock lights and whatever. So it's just a, a Chinese relays, two of them. They come all together just like this. With all the wiring and you'll see it on the mock-up of the I did a quick mock-up just to see how it's gonna lay out on the, the the front grill so I'll be showing that next but like I said this is gonna be the uh, the power going to it this is for a headlight and then your signal wires here but it was pretty neat how what it came with. Here's the signal wires. This makes the relay actually click. And you can see it comes with where your headlight socket would go into. It would be like, this is your original headlight socket. We'll just imagine that. And it would just plug into it like this if you had your original wiring. And then it would make the relays click to high beam, low beam, back and forth. So... This is neat, so I cut this off because I'm not going to use this. I'm going to have its own switch on the dash for high beam, low beam. So I cut this piece off. And then, these are the connectors that actually came on, originally came with it, but I cut those off too, of course. <laughs> because I'm going to reuse these, but I'm going to rewire them. So we'll talk about that. So in order to get the headlight this wire into the headlight bucket itself you actually have to cut it off anyways to get this inside there and then put them back together because you can't get it through that little hole so originally it came with your blue white and black so the black i'm going to be using as the ground which is actually down where the white is and then the white and blue are going to be the high beam low beam so i need to move these to it over around and around so i'll show you here here's the connectors that are basically here let me go back so this is just a cover that plastic cover it goes on this you just kind of slide this off and then you have the white socket here this is like feels like it's porcelain or whatever so it's high temperature so these are pushed inside of this so if you see here i'll show you real close you see these little tabs? You get a little screwdriver in there into the end of this. And then you can push these little tabs down and these wires just pull right out the back of it. So then you can put them any which way you want. So it had three of them. Here they are here. They're all out. So I'm going to go get a headlight and we'll mark on the headlight, which is high beam, low beam. So I got the headlights. I brought the headlights over and I did a little test to make sure I got them right. So I got the ground is down here. High beam, low beam is over here. So if you look at here on the way the connector came originally, black is the ground. And you can see it's on the wrong side. It's not even in the right location. So in the future, sometime when they went out, went from sealed beams to uh, the little halogen bulbs inside of a, a light. They must have changed the wiring direction so it doesn't it's not the same as it was originally. So that's why we're going to be moving the, the wires around. So we get, uh, get putting these together here. So since high beams on this side, ground and low. So we'll put the black one in to this one because that's the ground. Go. Oh, which way does it slide? Yeah, it slides in like that. So now that's locked in there. You see all the little tab just kind of holds it in there. And our original diagram 
The high beam is a blue-white wire, and the low beam is a blue-red. So since we don't have those colors, what I'm going to do is, since white, blue-white is high beam, I'm going to put the high beam side on the blue-white side. See, that goes in there like this. Oh, wait, did I put it in? That clicks in there just like that. Should click in there. Oh, it doesn't want to stay in there very good. Maybe I'm putting it in backwards. But anyways, so now this will be our high beam. White will be high beam. Blue will be low beam. You take that. I think the little tabs need bent over again. So this is how the new connector is going to be. It's going to be ground on the bottom. White's going to be high beam, and blue will be low beam. So if you look at your wiring diagram that I probably emailed to you, you could follow it along and see how that goes. Okay, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one apart, get this so these wires don't fall out, and then I'm going to install all of this, the final install. Well, I'm going to go do a test fit now. You'll see it in, in, in the next part. Gonna test fit it and then I'm going to paint the grill and then I'm going to actually install the headlights and the buckets and everything and get them all done. Mock up and test fit on the grill itself. This is the back side of it. Radiator will be sitting right here in this area. So over here, this is the headlight relay kit, the two relays. I drilled through I put two bolts here to hold the relays in. And I figure if I put it up in here, it'll be up underneath here for protection and, and no water, hopefully. And uh, plus no one will ever be able to actually see it. So that's what I'm pretty happy about. So headlight buckets, they're just sitting in here. So this side here, which is the length, uh, the standard size that um, with the connector cut off, so it fits good. It fits into the hole, and we got it perfect over here. So I come over here into the grommet. It's already here, the original grommet. I have it fed down with two of the clamps to hold the, the wire terminal clamps here, whatever. The smaller ones are about 8 millimeter, I think, to hold. And it comes over, and then I put it down into the light here. So you can see the wire is just way long we don't we definitely don't need this much wire for the headlight for the other headlight bucket since in a normal car this the it's made for a normal car so the headlight would be further over but since we're so close i'm just going to cut this right off to the length that we need inside the bucket to, just to connect the headlight so then that'll save that run so then we have both of them hooked up to the relay so then down here here's our cords we have High beam, low beam, whatever which one, the white, you just need to put a low voltage to these and it'll click the relays over and power the headlights. So to power the relays or the headlights, you have this and since the battery will be sitting right here, this can bolt directly to the battery. It already came with its own fuse holder and fuse inside, so it's all ready to go. And the ground will just go to earth. I'll probably put a brown wire on the end of this and then I'll ground it. This actually just grounds the relay itself. It doesn't even ground the headlights. The headlights will have its own ground coming out of there in the sockets. So that's all it is to the wiring of these. So the headlights would be all done and get its own little circuit and everything. So the headlight wiring will be done that way. All right, so I got the headlight buckets. They're bolted in with a gasket seal around the, out in the sides. And then they got the, the three screws. Got the wires fed over for the, this would be the left-hand side. Over, down, under, here's the grommets, like I pointed out. And then the left-hand side, I got a brown. Also, I added the brown wire for the ground. There, and here I got the connectors put back together. And I got uh, the connectors on the end, so I just need to attach it to there. Attach it to the as well. So then we have our headlights sockets done. So that'll be next. Got the bucket in there mounted. Well, I have to flip it over, but 
There's the, the two bolts for the relay kit behind here. It's right behind this panel. And I'm going to be putting these on next. All right. Look at how nice that paint, huh? It looks so good all painted up. All right, I'll be back. So mounting the headlights into the actual bucket, you have this ring here. And this ring has these little tabs that hold, that go into uh, little marks on the back of the headlight. This is the sealed beam. And if you're not familiar with them, they have little notches here, here, and here. So whenever they mount into, into the car, they're always sitting at the same direction. So I put the, the ring on because I wasn't sure which way is which. And what I did is I took a Sharpie. Well, I put it on the, on the bucket itself. Saw where it lays in, and then I put a Sharpie with a black mark at the top. So I know that this here is the top right here. So then this tab here and this tab here and here should line up and have the headlight straight and in, straight inside here. So I took the little tabs off of one of them and I'm going to put these together next. I'll be back. Okay, so I got it on and that was actually relatively easier than I thought it was going to. So here's our black mark up on top. So this signifies the top. So you flip it around and there's the little tabs there. See, they go into their own little spot. So to keep the headlight straight, straight up and down with it like that. So I'm going to go over and put these on the, on the grill. And these, I think I'm going to put a little bit of grease on these just so they don't rust up over time if I need to change uh, the bulb. Okay, so before putting the headlight in, I wanted to show you. There's our connector. We have our... Um, Everything shrink wrapped and everything here with that shrink tape pushed onto the connector. And don't forget when you go to put this wire through and you go to put your connector that you put the rubber seal that goes inside there. And I forgot so I ended up I had to slice it and, and, and stick it in there or whatever. I'm going to put a little silicone around it on the outside just so no water gets in there. So I put dielectric grease on here. And like I said on here I put some old tractor grease that I had real thick grease or whatever on the, the mounts and this is the like I said dielectric grease and then the connectors then the little tabs that I pushed out they fit in there and it, it held tight in there again so here's the other side it's in make sure you put your little tabs inside of your adjusters here a little tricky and here's the top one see the black sharpies up on top and then this is your pivot point for the the adjusting of the headlight this way and that way so this one screws in the whole way so the headlights now end and it just kind of floats there just hold on by three points here and here to adjust your headlight up and down like this and you can see here now the uh, it says power uh i think power light or something but you can see it's straight up and down the way it should be in there with uh since i marked it i put it in there the right way so that's good so this one I'm going to put in next. Both headlights are in and they're sturdy. So I'm doing the headlight rings, which uh, is pretty interesting how they fit together or whatever. So you have this screw down here. I'll show you on this one. So you have the lip that goes around the top right there and see that little metal tab? So that lip, let me go around here. Your, the lip of the ring goes inside here, taps on here, and right here. These two pieces, it hooks down underneath, and that little metal tab sits right into this groove. So that's pretty neat. So you hook it down onto here, you push it down tight and snug, and then there's a screw down here that goes into this hole. So that works pretty good, and actually the, the kit... Uh, which is uh, it comes with the screw to actually put that in so that's awesome so it's a great little kit those headlight buckets the plastic ones so you see it goes right into there so they're very versatile these headlight buckets so I'm pretty happy with them so far so I got the headlight rings on which I know I'm gonna have to take them back off again because I'm sure the headlights are pointing every which way, but that's something later on. But I just want to get them together so they're together and be done with it. So 
Headlights are in, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to go and do a little hot wiring and get uh, the wires together, and then we'll see if we can get this thing to shine a little bit. So I got it mounted onto the truck. I put some rubber pads down underneath where it bolts on, and I have a piece of wire holding it up there so it doesn't fall over. So I got it wired up, so let's take a look. Here's low beams. There's high beams, so it's working. I'm gonna show you a little bit closer on how things are wired up here. Here's a car battery and where it's supposed to be right here. We got our positive negative. I got the headlights. This is what I plan on doing, taking the headlights and put, taking it right to the battery, the ground, I mean. The ground of the headlights go right to here. They come up to here. They both go right to the bulb. So then we have the relay that comes down. Here's the positive. Actually, let me disconnect this, just in case. Okay, so here's the positive here that has the fuse. Now this is going to power the, the headlights themselves through the relay. So then we have our two signal wires right here. High beam, low beam. By putting this onto the positive, you get high beams or low beams. And then this one goes onto the high beams and low beams. And what these two are doing, they're only pulling maybe about a half an amp, maybe probably less than that. So all this is doing is making those relays up here click on and off. So one turns on whenever you put power to it, and one puts power to the other one and turns the bulbs on. So one goes the high beams, one goes the low beams. And then you have the ground, which is right here. This is just grounding the relay itself. So it's very, that's why this is gonna save your wiring behind the dash. So you don't need to have thick wires coming up to power the headlights. And plus you're getting full juice from the, you're getting from the battery here, because I plan on putting that right to the positive part. So you're going to get the positive and negative are going to go straight to the headlights, or actually straight to the relay, and then from the relay straight to the bulbs. So you're going to get full juice all the time from the headlights, so you don't have, hopefully, I don't have those dim bulbs like you see on a lot of car, older cars. So the relay kit from China is excellent. It, I have no complaints. It's working good so far. Well, this is the end of the headlight video. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing and comments. You guys are always positive and it's great. Thank you very much. Have a good one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.